All right, what's up, fam? Let's get straight into it. We're doing Virgo right now. Virgo, we're going to see what's popping for your 2022. Happy New Year to you. I'm going to start with the Oracle cards like I did. I already did Taurus's reading. But we're doing Earth right now. Just one card, please, for my Virgos. One card, please. Well, we're going to take that one. Okay, we got man holding a heart, Virgo. We got man holding a heart. Let's do another one, please. I heard past, present, future, so that's how I'm going to do these for y'all. Door to romance. And seventh chakra. Seventh chakra. That would be the crown chakra. Seventh chakra is the crown chakra, I believe. I'm looking it up real quick. It's been a minute since I did any type of chakra research, I should say. I'm always trying to heal them, but... Yep, crown chakra. Okay, so. Man holding a heart, door to romance, and crown chakra. I'm feeling like you're calling in your divine partner. It's the only thing that comes to mind, especially, I'll say I, I would have been maybe going somewhere else with it, with man holding a heart and door to romance. I probably would have focused that strictly on this man coming in. So let's... Keep that a part of it. There could be a man coming in holding his heart. And it will be a door to romance. But what I'm saying is. This is all being powered. This is all being brought to you by. You. Calling in your soulmate. You being able to open up your crown chakra. So. For those of you who are calling in your soulmate. This is also. When I see these cards. It lets me know. Something that you need to work on is the opening of your crown chakra. Doing some work on that crown chakra to assist you in this. Alright, so that's what your 2022 is going to be focused on. I feel like you're really going to be focused on the crown chakra. Which is going to lead to this man holding a heart and door to romance for you. Okay, let's start pull, pulling some uh, tarot cards, Virgo. Oof. Okay, so we got the Six of Swords. This is showing you uh, retreating. This is past, present, future. I'm going to stick with this. So in the past, it's looking like you did retreat maybe from a relationship from a man holding a heart. One more card, please. Two fell out. We, we just want one. Let's make this simple, easy to read, please. Just one card, please. Take this one that stayed flipped up. I'll take this one that wants to fall out. Okay. <clears throat> All right, y'all. It's still lining up perfectly with what we're saying or with what already came out. So I do see in the past, it looks like you did. Yeah, I mean, you pulled out the red flag. You threw your hands up of something. You washed your hands of something. You gave up. You moved away from something. Now, this is right up under... The man with the heart. That's the positioning it is. It's right up under it in the past position. In your present position, we have door to romance. And I see you as the king of swords. Now, the king of swords is someone that is going to tap into their intuition. Uh, also, very cerebral. So, I feel like you're using... Uh, you're more so in your head right now. Also, though, you're really thinking things out and really reflecting over... The events of the past, I feel like. Not stewing, not upset, but really just, uh, I feel like what just came to my mind, making peace with the events of your past. Now, in the future, we do see, and this is where your 2022 takes off. I mean, you're present as well, because right now you're making peace with the events of the past. But where we're talking about the future predictions would be in the future of the spread. And that is your overall healing of that crown chakra. Once that happens, once again, we see confirmation 
this partnership that comes in, which is going to correlate and be a direct, I mean, representation of this door to romance. So, <clears throat> that's your 2022 in a nutshell. It's very clear. Let's see what comes out of this deck. Virgo, yours is very, very clear. All your work is going to be done, or all of your success in love is going to come from you putting in the work on the crown chakra. So begin to uh, do research on that, on how to heal it, on how to work with it. Okay, so now we got... Your most abundant successes manifest when you are aligned with your integrity. You do not need to put your faith in pathways or projects that do not resonate with your deeper spiritual knowing. Everything that is happening in your life is part of how your prayers are being answered. A new order is to be established. You are being led into it. So this is also a part of opening up your crown chakra. Once you begin to really tap in and open it up, you really do start to move away from things that don't resonate with you spiritually. And you begin to call in those things that are truly aligned with you. So what they're telling you is to really step in that energy. Stop dealing with things that are not spiritually aligned with you. Things that just, you know, it's not taking you on the path. People, places, the things that you just don't see fitting in the path that you're headed to. Stop aligning yourself with those things. Manifest when you are, you manifest when you are aligned with your integrity. So a lot of this has to do with your integrity. What are the things that you really feel? So for me, <clears throat> this is a great example. I'm not really into uh, making people feel bad. I'm, that's something I hate. I hate when someone intentionally wants to make someone feel bad, whether it's getting down on them, teasing them, uh, clowning them, whatever it is, not a fan of that shit, right? So it wouldn't make sense for me to align myself with people where they love to do that. Now, that doesn't mean that my opinion's better than theirs. It's just saying that I wouldn't be best suited in that crowd you feel what i'm saying like that wouldn't align with me so uh you want to be aware of the things that you hold in high regard to yourself like you want to be aware of the things that you hold high integrity in and then you want to make sure that you're aligning yourself with people that move in the same way all right fam uh that's pretty much it virgo i will leave you with my last messages uh <clears throat> your door to romance it's open. Whatever decision you made, whatever whatever this was you retreated from was a good decision. Whether it was retreating from a mind state, whether it was retreating from dealing with someone that just wasn't aligned with your integrity, uh, whatever that was, was a good decision. But now the focus is going to be on you really coming in, coming to terms with what you want, what you believe in, and what you hold your integrity in so you can start to bring in those things places and people all right y'all i'm out virgo i appreciate you and happy new year peace